Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by AnyTrans and their new free iPhone mirroring software. AnyTrans now offers free mirroring for iPhone directly to your computer. Very easy, integrated with iOS 12 as well as iOS 13. You can mirror your iPhone's display directly using the AnyTrans software. And again, this software is free. Now to celebrate, AnyTrans is also featuring an iPhone 11 giveaway. There's multiple ways to enter. You can visit the website every day and participate for gaining points. You can share on Twitter. You can follow them. You can even download their applications. The more entries, the more your chances of winning. So check out any trans links in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a deeper dive into iOS 13 developer beta three. I've been using the software for the past three days now, and I wanted to share my experience on my follow up video. This is where I talk about the battery, the performance, any bugs, any problems with the software. And in these videos, I also like to talk about the YouTube community poll where you guys also vote and provide your feedback on how the software has been working for you. So let's dive right in. Now, before we continue with the video, I know how much you guys really love wallpapers and I have some amazing wallpapers that I want to share with you guys. These are all inspired on the new iPhone 11 wallpapers and these are all designed by our own partner on our website that develops our own wallpapers exclusively for you guys. Again, these are all going to be in the description down below on my website and you can also follow our wallpaper designer, which the links will be in the description down below as well. Now, one of the things I've noticed with iOS 13.1 developer beta three is a new splash screen in Apple Music. This is the first time I see this one. Let me know if you've seen this one before, but when you go to add music to your iPhone's library, it will now give you a prompt or a new splash screen, if you will, that is telling you how the syncing works throughout all of your devices connected to the cloud. So you see here, once you start sharing and syncing all your music in your library, you can enable this in Apple Music and this is the first time I see this particular splash screen for the Apple Music syncing. Now something else worth mentioning is that on iOS 13.1 Wi-Fi connection issues and cell connection issues continue to occur and it just feels like every time I talk about a new beta this is an issue that just is ongoing right so on newer devices like the iPhone 10R, the iPhone 10s, 10s Max these issues just continue to persist Apple needs to really just fix this or come out and say something is wrong because I continue to have spotty cell connection no matter where I'm at as well as Wi-Fi connection issues on these newer devices older devices not as much now let's go ahead and talk about the youtube community pool this is where you guys also have some input and you can check back every week every time there's a new beta i post these for you guys to comment and also vote and give your feedback now we have approximately 4,500 votes this time around and i ask how's ios 13.1 beta 3 running for you and it looks like a 68% of you guys have a good experience. Currently, I'm at a 24% right here. I'm at a good, but still some bugs or okay, but still some bugs. And an 8% of you guys are not having a good experience whatsoever. Now, I've noticed a trend for iOS 13.1 in the comments. If you take a look here, you see that most of the comments is no good battery. So bad battery, battery really bad, battery issues on the 10R, and it's just an ongoing issues on multiple devices like the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6 although most of you guys are having a great experience those of you who are not battery continues to be an issue now my personal thoughts on the battery is it's not the greatest but I have not experienced the worst battery life on this iPhone as I've been using it for the last 48 hours running 13.1 beta 3 I've been running anywhere from 7 to 8 hours of on-screen time it depends on the usage but everything else seems to be working just fine for me and that's everything I wanted to share with you guys on this really quick update i hope you guys enjoy the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace